The baby? Yeah. Excuse me, Quinn. You're not aborting that baby just because you two couldn't control yourselves. It's not the baby's fault. Mom, it is my decision. That's my grandchild you're carrying. I brought you up better than this. I can't even look at you right now. Oh, please. Anybody there? Sorry. There's a million miles away. <laughs> One of them days, is it? Is everything okay? No, I am. <coughs> it's fine. Silly. It's my job to listen to people's problems. Look, tell you what. Take my card. I may be able to help. Well, thanks. I always tell people to not bottle things up. To always write things down. It may be able to help. So, what do you think of the house? I really like it. I'm going to need a day or so to think about it, though. Yeah, okay. Just... It's hard sometimes. Well, I'm back at home again now. I just don't fancy going back to that place again. And that's good to hear, Noah. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there for today. Hey! Still doing this, are we? Never heard of you. Don't care about that anyway. It's my house. Anyway, I've got someone coming round tonight. So do me a favour. Go out or stay in your room. You're a bright star. But you need to stop depending on your friends. You need to be brave. You need to stand on your own two feet. What I'm saying is you need to be strong. One day you're going to turn round and your friends are not going to be there. Anything the matter? Noah? Noah? Anyone there? Did you know that blog you told me about you knew as well me, didn't you? Noah, no, I didn't. Get I... out of my fucking house now! Noah? No! Emily, we've got something we need to tell you. Bubbles passed away this morning. I know. Anyway, it's getting late. It's time for bed. Come on now. Get to bed. Okay. Good night.